Good morning, Meshack. It is June 29th, and I know there might be a lot of thoughts going through your head right now. For example, the poof levels of my hair are getting exceptionally high. Additionally, you might be thinking, hey, that setup looks a little bit different than usual. It looks a little bit strange. What are those black bars on either side of Sam? Well, big reveal time. Uh, oh my gosh, it's actually a stream setup. That's right. I got a computer that is finally capable of doing streams and streaming cool fun stuff like games and conversations with people. Um, I've streamed before, but it was mostly just like a camera pointed at me because that was all my poor little MacBook Air could handle. Uh, and now I got a, a big beefy boy that is notably not a Mac and, uh, and it should be able to do some stuff. So I'm gonna be going live right after this on the Sam experiment. So if you're watching this video as it's coming out, you can hop on over to that channel via the link in the description and come watch me live, but not until you're finished watching this video because I, I found something fun for you guys. So I was just dilly dallying when I came across this. Do we not have a Reddit account? Cognitive testing. Uh, it came across my page because it was like some puzzle or something that I think the algorithm thought that I would enjoy. And I clicked through thinking that I would find more puzzles to keep myself entertained during my lunch break. And what I found was not that. So what I did was I went to the top posts of all time. All right, that seems like a reasonable thing to do. Thing number one, a puzzle. That's exactly what I wanted to find. So I spent some time looking at this puzzle. Uh, I don't, I did solve it, I think. I don't remember which one. Um, we can go through this later, maybe. Um, and then there was another puzzle and then things just go downhill from here. I suddenly, I realized very quickly that this page is not for really questions like this. Like that's what I thought it was gonna be. But instead it is mostly this kind of like sad posting about how these people are way too deep into IQ testing and like measuring their cognitive abilities and like, I'll say it, dick measuring. So there's this little meme about people that take all sorts of tests. Like to me, these are mostly just a bunch of letters. I don't even know what a lot of this means. Um, this is a resource list, so I guess that's what people want. Then more, you know, ways to test yourself here. Uh, and then right away you delve into kind of the like darker aspect of this page. So. Uh, I used to have an IQ obsession and got help. You may need help too. I've been lurking here for a week now and I got a lot of memories of being in the shoes of many of you who post on here with their insecurities and obsessions. Like you'll, you'll guys will notice this too as I'm scrolling through. This is especially for those who are above average in intelligence, but badly wish to be 98th percentile or are ashamed they are not. I'm now almost 34 years old, cardiology fellow at large academic institution, blah, 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 blah. I ended up going to therapy for low self-esteem and then phenomenal posts. Like people are agreeing with this, this, has hit home for me going to medical school medical school soon thank you for this uh 100 agree it was really weird coming across this i'll keep scrolling uh and keep taking a peek at these but like this guy it's just like this society of people who are clearly like performing well on these tests but want to be doing better i guess this guy is some sort of genius and people are losing their minds about it uh in the comment section uh this one is a fun one uh, I'm gonna spoil it for you. So if you don't want it spoiled for you, you can go ahead and press pause. Okay, back, yeah, cool. Yeah, so this is not just him being a mean person on the internet. This is actually the solution to the puzzle. Uh, and you can figure out how if you care enough to. It's pretty simple. A lot of it is kind of sad. Uh, a lot of people are like measuring themselves against one another and not feeling like they're smart enough and blah, blah, blah. Some of them are funny. Like some of them are kind of self-deprecating. Stephen Hawking famously did not think that IQ was very valuable. Nazis valued IQ a lot. And so they're like kind of like dumping on IQs here. I know, what is that? Um, high IQ society. Ooh, okay, let's let's read a little bit about the high IQ society. High IQ is an organization that is limited to the number of people attain to a specific score on an IQ test, usually in the top 2% of the population or above. Okay, so men, oh, this is the one I know about. Largest and oldest high IQ society in the world. Like, what do you need a society for? Like, what are you guys doing all day? Who knows what IQ is even really matching? In fact, you know what? Let's just go to their, let's just go to their website. 
They'll tell us, right? I'm so disappointed that this is exactly what I was expecting. Uh, <laughs> discover intelligence. Let's see, let's discover something. Let's discover intelligence. It's just a measure of intelligence. Membership of Mensa is open to people who have attained a score within the upper 2% of the general population. Okay, but I'm still not understanding, like, what do you do? Like, how do I, once I'm a member, what happens then? Mensa International Events? Events, okay, they do have events. <laughs> Wait, is this a joke? <laughs> they don't have events. They don't have events. They're just they're just smart and uh, and want to talk about it. It's also it's also funny. They have mensa means table in Latin, which like okay, who cares? But then there's also uh, this fun alternative definition for mensa uh, in Spanish. So I don't know who chose that name, but interesting choice. So anyways. Uh, what is the moral of this story? Uh, there is not a moral to this story. I just found a wacky subreddit and I wanted to react to it and I wanted to use this new fancy setup. It's so fancy, it's so fancy. And if you wanna see more of it, come to the live stream that's happening right now. Uh, I don't know what we'll be doing on it, but we'll be doing something. If you wanna explore more of this Reddit, I encourage you to do it. I just can't get over like, what is the tog? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> This is, this is the target audience. I don't know what to think of this. I don't know what to make of this. And I just wanted to share the weirdness with you guys. Okay, that's all. I've got a pack for Chicago this weekend. Oh, I'm going to Chicago. Did I say that at the beginning? I don't know. I'm going to Chicago. I also got to figure out now how to edit this video on uh, this new computer. Everything is so different and I don't like it. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. Third episode of the podcast is out now. We're doing two uploads on a Thursday. Uh, told you you'd be getting more Sam and Meshack content. If you haven't checked out the podcast before, I actually think this is probably like the best episode to get started on. Meshack and I both kind of felt like the ball was getting rolling and we were discussing some interesting stuff. A little teaser is that we discussed the unbridgeable gap between human conscious experiences and also discussed like big philosophical questions like, why should we continue to exist? So if you're interested in that, go check it out. It's the last video on the channel. And with that, I thank you very kindly for watching this video. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment because I'm not getting enough comments lately. And Meshach, Schmackers, I'll see you next week. Yeah.